Whoa. 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 The new Steezo the God merch is finally here, AIDS. Teespring.com slash Steezo the God apparel. Link is in the description. Get there while you can. YouTube! How y'all doing, man? It's your boy. I'm back again. Who would have thought? Not only with the PlayStation controller, but you know I had to get the Xbox controllers. Everybody think I hate Xbox. No, I love all my ISO everywhere. The Xbox, the PlayStation. Shoot, I'll get the Wii controller if they really show that they in the comments like that. It don't even matter. I am the YouTuber for the people, and for the people I am. And this is why I got y'all with the new Dribble Advanced Tutorial. It is finally here, 2020. It is finally here! <laughs> uh, but anywho, now this will be my official second tutorial y'all if you haven't please you must go watch the first tutorial i will put the link in the description i'm better at doing this now like at first when i gave y'all the rundown i wasn't sure how descriptive i should be how smart y'all actually are and y'all really really smart y'all taught me that because everybody that watched my last tutorial is nothing but good reviews they said they figured out how to do it i might be over explaining it so i think i know the right amount of description i need to give going into this all y'all need to know is i be teaching y'all and y'all be learning and the message is conceived so now if you haven't like i said go watch the first tutorial we on to this advanced tutorial now for this tutorial y'all the moves that you will be learning today well, i'm gonna just go ahead and show it on the screen first off we have what you call the instant roll off the between the legs look at that that roll off the between the legs is so automatic it's so fast you will catch anybody 100 percent guaranteed it is essential you get that in your arsenal that is the first move now the second move y'all this is just one of the most glitchiest spin i don't even know what to call it the delayed spin back I like that. The delayed spin back out of the half spin. Another one. And the third move. The final will be. I didn't make this up. This is what the streets been calling it. This is what the community be calling it. They call it the, the what do they call it again? Oh, yeah. The moonwalk. Yes. The moonwalk glitch. Now, as you can see, all these moves, y'all, are very advanced, super glitchy. This is not one of those moves that, look, I I'm not going to lie. In 2K20, you only need about two moves to even dribble. This is not for y'all who's like, oh, I'm going to get these and it's going to help me be unguardable. No, this for the, the this for the dribblers that want to do more with yourselves. You want to get saucy. You want to you wanna style on the court. You want to make mixtapes. You just want to be glitchy. You tired of doing the same behind the back, the same hesitation. These moves are for those out there that just want to do more with themselves. Like I said, I got a bunch of dribble dribblers. This is going to show you how to really sauce and to really get glitchy on it. And yes, when you learn all these moves and you put them all together, you will be unguardable. The more you know, the more you know. That's all you gotta know. So, the first step you want to do and to be able to do these moves right here, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my new updated six. Now, I could have made a whole video 10 minutes of just, you know, music in the background and just did the six this way, but come on now. I got y'all. Where the hell are the six, family? I said, oh my goodness. My animation is okay. Now, let me make sure that the color is not in the way. The first thing you really going to need, to be honest, I have a lot of cigs on. I'm going to just go ahead and show you all my cigs. Yes, look at them, study them if you want. Take them if you want. It's cool. But the main stuff you're going to need for these moves right here is you're going to need moving crossover secret. Don't tell nobody. Pro five i just figured this stuff out this is the greatest crossover this gonna get you that instant rollback oh my god <laughs> but yeah anywho yeah this gonna get you the instant rollback pro five i like Allen iverson size up package i think you should use that too just for the sake of this video 
you know, to get the moves right. Um, yeah, just use all my six for this. Why not? I have the greatest six in the game. You're going to need all of these for these moves. You can try and test out with your own six. And if they don't work, they don't work. So I want you to put on these six just for now. And then, yeah, you know, and we still rocking with that Stephen Curry. But, yeah, you already know what it is. Yes. Now that you have the six, I always had to tell y'all, and I'm going to tell y'all one more time, go to your options, go to your controller settings, and make sure that your pro stick orientation is on default and absolute. Not default, but just absolute. That's, that's basically what you need, is the pro stick orientation on absolute. Go ahead and get that, and then we off to the court. <laughs> ah, here we are where the magic happens now nah, let me let me chill but yeah like i said people just like i told y'all in my last video it is up to y'all i'm gonna be telling y'all how to do the moves i got the two controllers up on the screen feel free please to help yourself pause the video rewind the video put it in slow motion look at my player then look back at the controller then look back at my player dribbling is all about repetition and muscle memory you need to put the work in and then you put the work in so much that it becomes muscle memory you just keep repeating it and you keep watching it and you keep studying and you please help yourself so with that in mind the first move we want to do it's very fairly simple especially if you already mastered my first tutorial it is between the legs spin boom now as you can see the beauty of this move is the spin back is just so quick or the roll whatever you want to call it it's basically a stizo roll off of the between the legs and the beauty of this crossover is you're able to do it just super consistently like look you see just almost every single time now the key to doing this like i said you want to know how to do the between the legs so i want you to jog forward first and then just go diagonal down crossover and as you can see you do it between the legs i want everybody to practice that you probably already know how to do this you guys are smarter than i give y'all credit but i'm still gonna go through all the motions of course so go ahead and practice that get your between the legs down now after you do that if you remembered the stizo roll it's basically all within the right trigger aka r2 and the left stick same exact concept it's with the left stick you want to have that little dash where it's like you hold it and then you just dash it to the bottom so watch that's the stizo roll combine that with the tween the legs so go tween the legs you see I pretty much had, I held the left, it's on the left stick. So you're holding R2, you go between the legs from the right hand to the left, you're holding up kind of like this, tilt it up and you kind of dash it down all while holding R2. So boom, look at the controller for a second. You, as you're going between the legs, you go boom, see? Boom, little dash now, I'm gonna show you it again. Now ready? And then you press down with the right stick to even it all out. Now, I, I don't even got to explain to y'all why this is so deadly. I mean, look, you can mess up on it, but there we go. Just like that. Now, if you're messing up on this move, it's probably because you, one, you don't have your angle right with your left stick. You got to kind of hold diagonal up with it. And then, like I said, dash it back down. Or if you're messing up with this move, it's because you're not pressing R2. Like I said, after you do the tween the legs quickly, you got to hold R2. Remember that, people. That's probably where a lot of people mess up. So, between the legs, see? If you don't hold R2, I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't hold R2. He's not gonna see, he's not gonna get the spin back. Now, let me show you what happens when he doesn't get the angle right. See, he's just not gonna get the, he's just gonna just run out of control. So, if you do it all together, boom, R2, and then press down with the right stick to even yourself out like I just did right there, you should have everything you need in this combo right here, I mean not much more to it people like i said rewind the video look at the controller put it in slow motion look exactly at what i'm doing just all in one motion between the legs r2 hold kind of up towards you know with the left stick and then boom dash it back down and so you should get that roll 
Now, with this move, I don't even need to explain why it's so deadly. Most defenders, they're not going to expect you to just roll back to the three-point line like that. It's pretty much an open three every time. And like I said, the beauty of these moves is you can combine them with the last tutorial that I showed you. Now, I know y'all remember this right here, but look at it now. Boom, to the three. You see what I'm saying? It's just just control over your player it's just more moves than just a hezzy behind the back you know but yeah one thing i notice about dribblers is we all kind of have our little basics left to right and that's really good but what gets neglected a lot is the up and down it's like four elements to being unguardable you want them to know if you're going left or right but you also want to have your three-point line, your drive, going back to the three-point line, back, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to have each. It can't just be all left to right, people. You want to get them, like, if you're shooting a three or if you're going for the dunk as well. All right, now that you have that move down, you probably looking glitchy as heck, my guy. I mean, do I end the vid now? 10K likes for part two? Nah, we gonna keep it going. What we gonna do now and what we gonna learn now is the delayed spin back. I think that's what we call this. So let me see if I got it first go. So just a little half spin. Oh, oh, oh my God. Why does that look so cool? What the heck? I don't know. That just looks cool to me. But anywho, y'all get the gist of it. And I forgot, please go like the video if you haven't already. We about halfway through. I'm getting y'all to this second move. The delayed spin back, people. Why is that? I don't know. I just love it. It just looks glitchy. Now, this one's pretty simple. I'm not going to lie. I think a lot of y'all going to do this one fairly easy. All you need to really know how to do, first of all, is, of course, look at the controller. Half spin. And to do the half spin, you want to go from, what would that be on the clock? Let's see. That's about 3 o'clock back to 12 o'clock. So, boom. Half spin. One more time. I'll do it on the other side, actually, this time. Half spin. Now, once you do the half spin, this is probably the most important part. Once you do the half spin, you want to be holding R2. And if you look at the left analog stick, you want to hold it in the most precise position ever. This is basically what's going to get you to get this clean little animation that looks like that right there. You see how I did the half spin and he brought the ball back and it looked like he was going between the legs. That's all with your left stick and R2. You want to hold R2 and you want to point the left stick not completely down but a little bit to the left down so it's like down but look a little bit to the left so he kind of just goes in between the legs you see the ball starts with the right hand you do the half spin then you hold down and he does that animation right there and after he goes between the legs now you could do it early it looks a little cooler if you delay it that's why it's called the delayed spin back but after he goes between the legs, what you want to do after you make him do the twin legs with the left stick, what you want to do with the right stick is you want to spin it like this clockwise, this clockwise. Look at the controller. After you do that twin legs animation that I was talking about, spin it like this clockwise. I just made that shot. That was crazy. Now watch, put it all together. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it just, I don't know. I just love that move. After you do the spin back, you could hit up down to do that one little move. It'll look like this. You see, if you want, while you're completely backwards, you can tap R2 down and you'll get this. Then you can hit him with, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I'm getting y'all right, man. Can I get a like and subscribe if you haven't already? There's not much more to that move, people. 
you pretty much just have to get it down. You got to get your angle down. You got to get your timing down. Half spin. Hold. See, if you do it too late, it's going to look like that. If your left stick is not in the correct spot, like I said, if down but a little bit to the side, it'll probably look like this. It's going to mess up. You see, it'll look like that. You don't want it to look like that. You want it to have that angle that's going to make him do that carry between the legs. And once you see that between the legs, that's your cue to hit him with that spin with the right stick like that. So all together, one more time, it should look like that right there. That right there. that right there now look <laughs> i don't really have to explain to y'all why that move just looks so cool it just i don't know it looks really cool to me find situations where you can combo with find situations where you know oh whoa whoa you can combine all of it i forgot look watch ah green light let's go bro like i'm trying to tell y'all bro it's not just the individual moves. It's what you do with the moves. You can combine every single combo that I teach y'all. That's why I have the most deadliest dribble moves because they all connect to each other. It's all linear. You could do one move that I taught y'all from the last tutorial and combine it with these new moves and you're just looking insane crazy like just on another level. Something different than just the ah, ah, you see what I'm saying? But anywho... Am I not the greatest teacher? Now, finally, to the final, 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 final move, what they want to call is the moon walk. Now, this, I'm not going to lie, AIDS, is really probably the most hardest one. It's going to be very hard for y'all to do. Once you get it down, it'll be super easy. But just learning the concept, the cues, just just knowing exactly the control like it's 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 called an advanced tutorial for a reason so just fair warning here if you don't get this one right away don't be frustrated keep tweaking at it rewind the video look at the controller practice help yourself until you finally get this move right here now check this out this is it you see that's it <laughs> that's pretty much it now the crazy thing is there's not just one thing to it you see you could do different stuff that goes along with the moonwalk that's what people don't really understand do that with it but all of these moves right here they all have to do with the moonwalk <laughs> that's why it's just so crazy But yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, the gist of the moonwalk, what it looks like. Now to do the moonwalk, <laughs> what you want to do is I'm going to break it down piece by piece. The way I like to get into it is the ball's going to start with my left hand. You want to hold R2 and press crossover with your right stick, which is right. So you want to do that right there. That is the first part of doing it. You want to do that. Now, after you do this, you want to still hold R2 and press the left stick in this direction. It's pretty much like a down crossover. So after you do this, you want to hold that and he should do an animation that looks like that. You see that little flip? That's what we're going to call it, a flip. That is the first part into doing the moonwalk. You want him to do that animation right there if you notice every time a person does a moonwalk he does that little flip first all while holding r2 so i want to call it r2 crossover hold down boom he does that now here's where it comes kind of tricky after he does the little flip like this what you're gonna do while all holding R2, make sure that is the most important part is that you're holding R2 through all of this because that's what's going to lock the character into where he can walk backwards while holding the ball and, you know, being backwards. You want to use your left stick and point it kind of upwards. 
So you want to flip over and then use the left stick after he does the flip and point it up. And he should be getting an animation where the ball goes from like that. You see? From one hand to the other. Just. Now, once you get that animation down where you can get him backwards and kind of make him walk backwards with it, just the, you see? Something like that. If you let, if you let it go too much, it'll roll, but you want to kind of like that. So you see, you're going to. Now, once you get this animation where you're able to get him kind of walking backwards like that, it's locked in. What you want to do is after the ball goes from one hand to the other, because that's what you're basically doing. You're walking backwards, but. You're making sure the ball goes from one hand to the other like that. Once the ball gets to the other hand, from the left hand to the right hand, you want to go from 6 o'clock back to 3 o'clock. I'm going to show you with the right analog stick. It's going to look like that. You want to do that after you do the sequence. So you do the sequence, 6 to 3, boom. You see? And he'll do the little spin. Now, this is very hard, people, like I said, but once you get it down, once you get just the logic of it down, what you're actually trying to do, you get him to do this. He does the flip. He rolls backwards and he switches hands and then you do the little half spin. It's just you got to break it down step by step. Flip backwards. Other hand spin. One more time. Crossover flip backwards. Other hand spin. One more time. Crossover flip other hand spin and then you know you can mess with it now after you do that once you just get this part down where he goes from one hand to the other you can just practice different combinations like i said this is what i like to do then i go between the legs and i spin back see i combined it like i said all these moves combined together you can mess with them like i said like this is what we teach in combination combination like i said please help yourself rewind the vid put it in slow motion look at the controller if what i'm saying is not registering in your brain you're gonna get it i promise if you just practice 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 repetition muscle memory it is what it is and then like i said there's just totally different you see how there's different combinations you could do with the running the the the, the what do you call it the uh the moonwalk <laughs> i would have called it something different whoever named it the moonwalk you know props to you but I'll, I'll, I'll mess with it you could do you know you could probably do a behind the back out of it it's just it's basically like the old pro 3 from 2k19 do y'all remember that where we used to press r2 down and then do a quick little glitch move out of it this is pretty much the new pro 3 so if you want you do a little behind the back out of it if you want um now with that same logic we can combine this see with the other <laughs> thing it's all about just holding r2 to get you locked anywhere you see that combination of you doing the moonwalk you could just mess with it as you can see i did the moonwalk from the right and then i locked it again to the left and then i did it again on the left side just just different combinations people try one more time see easy like that rewind the video watch what i just did because it's actually kind of hard to explain i think this is one of those moves where i teach you the basic and then as soon as you learn the basic which is this wait, which is this right here i'm gonna let you you know i'm gonna let you use your imagination and explore and you're probably gonna find some new stuff that i'm not even doing right now so that's one of those moves that you teach them the basic and then they go crazy and they, they find the rest of the moves and yeah that's pretty much the gist of that one right there so yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this advanced tutorial i hope y'all enjoyed it let's get 10k likes on this if you want me to keep coming out with tutorials i came out with the last one asked for 10k likes i got it so i gave y'all another one that's how it works on this channel i love y'all we're going into 2020 with almost 300k who can stop us? I mean, I just feel unstoppable. I have the greatest fans. I got the greatest merch. Go check that out if you haven't. Link in the description. We the greatest every year. Wait until 2K gives us a good game where we enjoy and we could actually do our dribbling. It's over. They could not kill us. They thought they could destroy us, but we keep coming back. We do not die. We multiply. 
I'm trying to tell y'all you need to wake up every day like you the chosen one because God damn it, you are. You only live your life through your perspective. You are the main character of your life. You need to start owning it and making it that way. Don't settle for no side character, bull. Don't settle for nothing less than the greatest. We are the greatest. You are the chosen ones. You are the ones on this channel. Now channel your energy. We going on four years into this. There is no stopping us and there is never going to be a way to stop us. 2020, we will all prosper. We will all make it. I love y'all. Like, subscribe if you haven't. This is only the beginning. What more do I gotta say? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Stizo to God. I'm out. I love y'all. Oh yeah, and turn them notifications on because we being consistent all 2020. Yes, sir. I love y'all. Joy.